Hey YouTubers, I said I was going to do an unboxing on the Kanto Sub 8, so here we go. So if you watched my latest vlog, I said that uh, I had bought the Kanto YU2s, which I also did an unboxing on, and I did not intend to get a subwoofer for them. And as I also said in my latest blog, uh, Mastrop brought the uh, Sub 8 out. They brought it out at a price I couldn't resist, and here we are. So, on with the unboxing. So, I bought the flat black. They have uh, multiple colors. They didn't have a bamboo. I don't know if I would have gone for a bamboo. That's the color of my speakers. Uh, Probably wouldn't have. It might have been a little too eye-catching. This is going to go under my desk, which eventually I will do a video on since I've redone everything. And I think it'll tuck away pretty nicely under a corner of the desk. All right, again, I have a challenge. Alright, so the sub is wrapped up much like the speakers were. If you go watch my unboxing on the YU2s, uh, you'll see that this uh, nice soft cottony stuff is used to wrap those as well. They have a gloss black and a matte black. I went for the matte black. So here we have it. Uh, looks pretty nice. I thought the gloss black would maybe show dust too easily and fingerprints and oils too easily. Uh, probably the matte. I thought the matte might have more of a texture on it. And I don't know if the camera will even focus on this, but this is a very smooth matte finish. It's not crinkly in the least. As you can see, it's front firing. Let's see if it has anything pointed down. It doesn't. So it's not ported at all. Just this front firing woofer, again, 8 inches. Can't, I don't think that's removable, doesn't seem like it is. And then on the business end here, what do we have? Uh, we have a level control, a crossover frequency control, uh, left and right inputs, those are line level, and I'm assuming that one of them uh, is mono if you just supply one feed. Uh, power switch, cable plug-in, uh, Power cable jack, uh, looks like a fuse. So not much to it, as you would expect with a subwoofer. The feet are a fairly compliant material. Uh, I kind of like how it feels when I set it down. Good news, nope. Blah. So they give you a line, a uh, line level RCA cable and there's no power brick, so the uh, transformer is inside the unit. I was hoping for that. That will make my installation a lot easier. I really hate power bricks. There is uh, nothing else in the box. Let's see. Yeah. Nothing else in the box, so no instructions. There's no instructions in there. So uh, it's pretty simple to set up a subwoofer. So not much to it. Oh, I was going to look at the specs. So let me let me read this off. 120 watts, 30 to 250 is the frequency response, and and obviously it has an adjustable low pass filter. It's got a face switch. It claims. I wonder where that is. Oh, yeah. I didn't. I didn't do a good job of going over the uh, control panel. I missed a couple of things. Here's a face switch. That'll come in handy. That's a really good thing to have. You wouldn't want the phase to be off from your speakers. Phase, I mean, it's going to be under a desk. It's not going to be pointed at me. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if that has any real effect or not. In a room, uh, a lot of open space, the phase can have a huge, huge deal on the overall sound. And then there's a uh, power standby, whether you have it in auto, on, or off. So uh, in auto, I assume when it gets a line level signal, it'll turn on magically, which is convenient. So sorry I missed those things first time around. Uh, back to the specs. Stereo RCA input. Volume control, I already covered that. 
acoustic grade MDF cabinet, auto standby mode, and then we have it in French and Spanish. So there it is. I mean, there's not much to say. You know, I knew when I bought the YU2s that the, that they weren't going to have a lot of bass. It's just you can't expect that from a tiny little speaker like that. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how much a sub wakes them up. I have two other subwoofers in the house, and invariably adding a sub to your system just it makes an incredible difference, a really incredible difference. So I'm looking forward to this. And again, I'll probably wait to talk about it more until I do my desk review, or maybe I'll do a separate review. I don't really know. Anyway, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.